Epidural is a medical procedure that is typically performed on pregnant women during delivery to alleviate pain. Inside our spine, there is a space outside the spinal cord called the epidural space. Nerves branch out from the spinal cord and carry sensory signals towards the spinal cord and then to the brain. However, if anesthesia is administered into the epidural space, it blocks the sensation from that area. When a pregnant woman goes into labor, she starts to feel strong pain. And as the delivery process begins, the pain intensifies. That's why epidural injections are often given to mothers during delivery to alleviate their pain. Now let's see how an epidural injection is administered and how it works. Before administering the epidural injection, local anesthesia is applied to the lower back of the pregnant woman to minimize the pain from the epidural injection itself. After that, a long needle is inserted into the mother's back, carefully navigating it into the epidural space. Then a thin tube called a catheter is inserted through the needle and fixed in the epidural space. The required anesthesia is then injected through this catheter into the epidural space. This numbs the spinal cord and the nerves that transmit pain sensations, effectively relieving the mother from pain after about 10 to 20 minutes. This allows for a smoother delivery of the baby. There are other terms associated with epidurals, such as epidural anesthesia, epidural block, epidural steroid injection, and regional anesthesia. Epidural injections can also be given to patients other than pregnant women who have spinal issues. For example, patients with chronic back pain often receive steroidal epidural injections, which provide relief from pain for an extended period. Steroids help reduce inflammation in the nerves that cause pain, thus alleviating the discomfort. However, it's important to note that steroids do not cure the underlying condition. They only control the symptoms. Thank you.